Hi guys, how you doing? Raymond Malloy, back out. So, um, we saw me doing a bow drill again. I failed again, as I always do, but went out the following weekend with uh, Jim, Bob's, Jim Bob Outdoors and Steve Rain. Um, got an ember going really good. Didn't film it. It was just out with my, with my boys, enjoying our time. I thought, today, let's just do bushcraft. Let's not worry about the video. Um, I'm not gonna do the bow draw today. Um, I might attempt to do it later, maybe. Um, I've already done it this morning. I've got a witness, I've got a nice ember. I didn't bring it to flame, but it's a beautiful ember, so yeah. But today is all about birch bark nest and uh, lighting it via flint and steel. So we shall see how it goes. All right, catch you in a second. All right, so I've had a little rethink. I'm going to show you a few different variations of ember creating and whatnot, um, just because. So, um, first and foremost, the easiest method, the ferro rod. Um, I'm sure you've all used one of these before, or you'll think about getting one. Do it. It's so much fun. It makes fire making easy. Um, as a for instance, just going to show you very quickly. Now this is some reed seeds. Um, really light, really fluffy, and quite quite fun to use. So using my Swiss Army again because I'm in central London. There's absolutely no need for me to be carrying one of the big knives. So yeah, just put it in there. Are we in? And hey, what up? We've created a few little embers there, and that you can accelerate. And yeah, that's one way of getting yourself going. Um, I quite like it. Like, see it when it goes like that, like if you fluff it up properly, like button times. So, yeah, that's one. Second, birch bark. Now, you've all seen me use this before. Uh, so it shouldn't come as a surprise as what I'm about to do. Um, but just for quick purposes of the video, I'm going to show you. That's going to... very quickly not gonna do too much but I hope you can see you can see I've created quite a bit of well a little bit of dust there it's enough Voila. And then you kind of just feed that. Oh, I've killed it. But yeah, you feed it, and there's another fire. Um, so yeah, that's birch bark using ferro rod, reed, reed seed with the ferro rod. Um, the next one I'm going to go into flint and steel. And for this one, we're going to be using a bit of charred cloth. And I'm gonna make a birch bark nest. Um, so I'll just get that prepared now and we'll be back in a second. Right, so as I said, I'm gonna make a nest out of birch bark, but I wanted to show you how to process it a little bit. So I've gone off, found a tree that was kind of shedding. So I've got lots of strips. Um, these are the thinner ones. I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna do. Uh, essentially, Birch bark is really good. It's a great fire maker. Um, and if you can get the small stuff like in your nest, that's really, really gonna work. So what I tend to do, or what I was practicing yesterday, 
is just creating small stuff. I mean, I could go on for a while processing, I'm not going to, I just wanted to show you the general idea. You're just breaking it down into tiny little particles. Because that's gonna go in the nest and catch really, really well. So yeah, that's just one part of it. I mean, I already done all of this this morning um, at home. It was raining a lot, so I thought, you know what? Just make life easy for myself it all at home so I've already done my strips so they're ready to go so now all I've got to do is put it together which I should have packed it a little bit easier better but there you go so yeah I've got a nice well, I'm gonna start off with that, and then like so. I'm kind of rushing it, so it's not the best effort, I ain't gonna lie. But hopefully it will hold. Hopefully I'm giving it enough. So yeah, that's pretty much my base. Then just gonna start feeding it in. bag of dust here. Here's some I made earlier. Ho, 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 ho. Some really good fibrous dust there I tell ya. That don't work, nothing will. And if all else fails I've got a lighter. It's not cheating. It's bushcraft. Right so we got that. And what we'll do, we'll just sort of fold it in on itself. But first, as I said, we're going to use the um, fire flint and steel. Sorry, a dog's just run past me. <laughs> um, and you want to use a good bit for this one. I noticed yesterday I used a tiny little square and it's just a nightmare. So I think that should be plenty. Fingers crossed. I haven't quite made the char cloth yet. I keep on buying it. I will make it at some point. But yeah. Let's get the basics first. Lovely little nest I've got going on there. Get all of this stuff in there. Just put it to one side for a second. So that's ready. Gonna get the flint and steel with the charred cloth. Yeah, 
Here we go, got an ember. Throw that in there now. There we go, fire through birch bark. Oh, that got me good, it stuck to me. Yeah, that easy. Don't you just love it? <laughs> Lord of fire. times all right well that's it guys all done now um i hope you enjoyed my little video you know it's all right a little bit of fire making you come camping you're going to be in one of my videos <laughs> anyway guys thank you very much hope you enjoyed the video have a lovely day i'll see you again soon bye now <laughs>